everybody, Casey Knight over at I Saw It's 3D Printing, and today I want to talk about the HP 5420W, which is a multi-jet fusion technology that produces vibrant, bright white parts. The reason this is unique is because the traditional MJF process produces this kind of natural gray finish, um, which is good, and oftentimes we'll dye these parts black and we'll have a really nice quality finish result, but there are definitely applications where you want that bright white finish. In addition to that, you would also have the benefit of having the option to dye this additional colors other than just black. You can dye it blue, gray, orange, whatever. And there is one challenge though, that once we received this machine and started working through it, that we admittedly had some issues that we didn't expect. And that is with vapor smoothing this bright white part. The reason that is a challenge is because the material is so purely pristine that any minor, we're talking microscopic contaminant can show up as a defect that we would not want to have. So I want to talk about that a little bit more. Let's start with some context and scale at which we're talking about here. So this is a bright white part directly out of the machine. To the naked eye, it looks great. I'm a big fan of this part. However, if we were to take that part and put it directly into the vapor smoother, there's several sources of cross-contamination. I can talk about those in just a minute, but this is the result that we get. There's microscopic particles on here that one, get magnified, and two, get embedded directly into the part. That's obviously a problem. And it's not that this would, have, of course, affect the functionality of the part, but when you have a pristinely nice looking part, the last thing you would want is for something like this to affect the cosmetic finish. So let's look at what's actually causing this under a microscope. These particles, Again, you don't see under the naked eye, but this is what we have that gets magnified during the vapor smoothing process. Now that you've seen the challenges that we're having and the scale at which we're having to deal with it, let's look at the entirety of the process before the parts get vapor smoothed and see what we can maybe do to reduce the potential for that contamination. First of all, we have the unpacking process where the parts are removed from the powder bed after the printer is completed. Now, this is a pretty well-controlled process. It's its own processing station, and it also has a negative pressure system to help us. But there is just general handling that occurs. From there, the parts get moved to the depowdering. We have automated depowdering systems, and we have manual depowdering systems, and we try to control these by making sure we have clean blast media and we don't cross-contaminate any of the parts themselves. Nonetheless, Again, we have a lot of handling and just potential airborne particles that could drop onto the parts. So our approach to this problem was a little bit different. Rather than trying to control the entirety of this process, which is extremely complex, but also more importantly expensive, we decided to go with a different route where we treat the parts just prior to going into the machine, and then we make sure the machine is also immaculately clean. That way we have a clean machine with pure vapor and a perfectly clean part. So regardless of what occurs here, we have a really good result before it goes into the machine. So let's take a look at the results of what this new treatment that we've developed can do. On the left side, we have eight parts. These were all cleaned as best we could. They were hit with high pressure air before they went into the vapor smoother. And if you look at it from a pretty distant, long distance away, they, they look great. There's really not much to see there. But when you start to zoom in on the parts, you do start to see a handful of small particles. Now this is something that we like to have, of course, very high quality and this type of small particle would be considered a defect. So how are we going to reduce that? Well, the technique over here on the right shows what we can do now. These are the same vapor smoothing batch. So there was the same, same chemical being used. The machine was cleaned to the same degree, but the surface of the parts were treated. And now we have a 100% yield rate. Now, of course, we always like to say, how does this affect our customers? Well, vapor smoothing is a great process and it is something that gives you that water impermeability and chemical resistance. So a part that is white, this is a desired application for many of the customers that are looking for this. And now we can finally offer it with the yield rate and the cost that we would want to offer it on. So take a look at our website, i-solids.com. You can see it now offered as an option under the white MJF option. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. 